This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, a tachometer is an instrument measuring the rotation speed of a shaft or disc as in a motor or other machine. The device usually displays the revolution per minute on analog dial or on digital display. In this project, tachometer is made using an infrared sensor module as unit for measuring the number of rotations. Simply, we have interfaced the infrared sensor module with Arduino, uh, Nano and the SH1106 OLED display. The sensor module consists of infrared transmitter and receiver in a single part that can work as a digital tachometer for speed measurement of any rotating object. One diode transmits infrared rays, which reflect back to the receiver diode, and then infrared module generates an output of pulse, which is detected by Arduino microcontroller. Arduino next calculates a revolution per minute using the given formula objects divided by 3 multiplied by, six, by 60 because in our case we have three obstacles in one full circle of the motor. The device is extremely simple to build and consists of only three components. Arduino Nano microcontroller. Next infrared sensor module. And SH1106 OLED display. When measuring, we need to place the sensor a certain distance from the rotating object and this distance can be defined by, trimmer, by the trimmer potentiometer on the infrared module. In this case, I will measure the rotation per minute of two small Stirling engines uh, as well as one PC power supply fan. By the way, in the description of the construction of the device, there are also brief instructions for assembling the high temperature Stirling engine. Now let's see how the device works in real conditions. Immediately after starting the device, my logo appears on the screen and after a few seconds the measurements can begin. It is useful to know that any image can be converted into a C-code array using special programs for this purpose and even online. For greater visibility, a progress bar proportion to, proportional to the number of revolutions appear on the upper part uh, of the screen. Depending on range of values, for which we will use the tachometer in a part of the code display.fill rect, another value can also be mapped. First, let's measure the rotation speed of a low temp temperature stealing engine. As we, as we see, this machine has six obstacles, uh, so we adjust the Arduino code accordingly. For this machine to work, the cup must be filled with boiling water.
And finally, let's measure the rotation speed of the PC fan at 5 volts. The device is built into a suitable box made of 5mm PVC board covered with a self-adhesive colored wallpaper. Uh, in fact, I used the box from one of my previous projects, so uh, the light sensor and the button have no function in this specific project. And now let's follow the way in which this device is made. A few words about the Stirling engine model. The package arrived very quickly from China to Macedonia in less than two weeks. Everything is well packed and contains all the parts as well as assembly instructions.